Mary Dawn with MD's Digital Channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. What day is it? What's today? Day after St. Patrick's Day. Did you survive, you guys? Hey everybody and welcome to MD's Digital Channel, our virtual happy hour. And if you came home with your clothes and your hat after yesterday, you're doing okay. I did. I did. Honestly, I didn't even go out yesterday. I didn't. But I have a great dress that I came home with it. Okay, so how did everyone St. Patrick's Day go? Did you have a good time? Was it warm? Was it cold? What did you do? So let us know. Let us know what you're doing today, where you are watching from, what you are drinking. Are you drinking? Because I've got myself a little rosé all day. You know, it's one of my favorites. And here in South Florida, it's beautiful. It's like 87 degrees, sunny, beautiful. It is spring break in Florida. Sorry, guys, if you're not from here, you should be here. Anyways, so a lot going on, you guys. I know that you're watching. I can see you're watching. Let me know who you are. Say hi, because I can't tell unless you tell me who you are. And thanks for joining us, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on Instagram. We're on, of course, Facebook and also TikTok. So make sure you follow us along there. So, okay. You made it through yesterday. I know all my friends back in Rochester, New York, had a great, great time. Fins up, Dan Sherman. You know what I say to that? Here's what I say to that. Still waiting for that. That's right. Go Bills, baby. Bills Mafia all day. Anyways, so what's going on? Let's talk about Guinness for one second because, I don't know, did you guys see Green yesterday? I don't know. Oh, my friends up in Chicago did. My girl Patty said it was fabulous. Look at this river. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe next year, Dan Sherman. Mm. We must agree to disagree. That's okay. So I just read this morning that coming to Netflix, you guys, House of Guinness. That's right. New Netflix series is coming to Netflix, a new series is coming to Netflix called House of Guinness. It's going to follow along to all the siblings that took over when the inventor passed away and all the trials and tribulations of running this giant business. So, yes, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you guys, check that out. It's called House of Guinness. It's coming out soon on Netflix. And I thought I'd just quickly give you a couple facts on Guinness because yesterday was the big day. And did you know that back in the early 1900s, Guinness was a feel better anecdote and doctors actually gave it to pregnant women to make them feel better. And I know for a fact, I have bar guests that come to my bars and ask for little shots of Guinness when their stomach's upset and it helps, makes them feel better. So Guinness does technically make you feel better. That's what everybody says. And also, the Guinness Book of World Records, which was started in 1954 because these lads in the pub were having stupid, petty pub arguments. And they said, no, we're going to make our own Guinness Book of World Records so we don't have to deal with this. That's obviously before Google, when you're kind of like, oh, what was the second president's name you're fighting over with the guy that's mumbling in the middle of your bar thinks he knows everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all got one of them, right? Anyways, so those are a couple of fun facts about Guinness. And you know, they actually had a campaign back in like 1924 that was Guinness makes you feel better, quote unquote. So interesting stuff. It sure is. So, okay. I was told about these two new liquors over the weekend. So I stopped by my local liquor store this morning to try to find these two liquors. And I couldn't find them. But I ran into this awesome salesman, Pete. I know you're watching, Pete. And he actually took out his own credit card 
and bought me a bottle of booze. That's right. And this is what he bought me. So we're going to get right into tasting right now because I don't have a hangover because I didn't go out last night. So this is actually called Bushwhacker Coconut Rum Cream. Okay. Now I know that a lot of you have been on cruises and been to Key West and Siesta Key where they've got all these daiquiri bars. And you've seen that Bushwhacker in the machine. Bushwhacker is kind of like a white Russian. This is Bushwhacker in a bottle. Okay. So there's a really cool story behind this. Pete didn't tell me this, but I checked it out. I did some research and this goes all the way back to 1975 in the U.S. Virgin Islands of St. Thomas, which I've actually been to. I got a beautiful ring there once. It's a great place. But on St. Thomas back in the 70s, 75 to be exact, Tom Brokamp, who was the bar manager at Ship Store in the Sapphire Village, if any of you guys know this, chime in and, and let me know. Him and his bartender, Angie, and I know, Angie, I'm going to murder your last name, Conigliaro, she was the bartender, they came up with their own concoction of the Bushwhacker. It wasn't named yet, so check this out. For a week straight, she pounded this concoction into everyone's head that came in, and these two guys, one was a flight attendant, they came in, they sit at the bar, they brought their dog, and their dog's name was Bushwhacker, and everybody became friends. They ended up naming the drink Bushwhacker after the dog, okay? So that's how this whole thing got started. And then in 2020, they actually bottled this for the very first time. So, Pete, I haven't tasted this yet since you bought it for me. And again, thank you, you're awesome. So I didn't chill it because I didn't want it. I wanted to taste the whole thing perfectly. It's creamy. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've never had a Bushwhacker frozen drink, but I know our producer back there, he's had a lot of them. He loves them. He's, he's giving a thumbs up. So, okay, let's try this thing out. Smells, smells potent. Woo -hoo. That is good. It has a very, very, very slight taste of the Coquito, but doesn't have the same spices. But this is freaking good. Ooh, you know what? Next cruise I go on, I'm getting me a bushwhacker and I'm doing some taste. This is delicious, absolutely delicious. Pick this up, you guys, at your local store. Give it a try. Bushwhacker coconut cream rum cream, okay? Try that out. Oh, my God, that is delicious. You guys, pause off back there because I know the minute I set this down, someone's going to steal. Ooh. Ah. Delicious. All right. Woo. Okay. So while I was at the store, awesome Pete also, he said, you got to try this other thing I have. This guy took really good care of me today. So, you know, bourbons are really, really, really popular right now. And this one here is our Old Forester 1924 10 year old bourbon. Okay. And this bad boy retails for $225 for this one bottle. $225. And I got my paws out. So whoever's the lucky recipient after me is going to have a good time with this. Okay, so you guys, here's a little fact. And I know this may seem like school, but I just found it so interesting that back during Prohibition, over 200 distilleries were forced to close. We knew that. And... Old Forester got to continue because they got a little teeny medicinal license. How do you like that? A medicinal license. So they took all the 200 distilleries product off their hands and they continued as a medicinal supply house, if you will. And this particular Old Forester is, this release is commemorative to that moment in time, 1924. So let's just give it a whirl. Good. Well, good thing I didn't drink yesterday because, whoo, just taking a little bit of this. All right. Whoo. I'm getting notes of fudge. Let's see. Ah, oh, my God. Whoo. Oh, the 
it's good. Holy cow, this is 100 proof bourbon, you guys. 100 proof. Ooh, fudge, definitely. A little tobacco, some cocoa. And I was told I'm supposed to taste a graham cracker dust with some cinnamon in it. I can't tell because it's so strong. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, even when you inhale it, it's strong. Ooh. <laughs> Holy cow. Good stuff. Uh, Forrester, you're the bourbon guy. This is it. 1924, 10-year-old bourbon. Like I said, here's a picture of it. Pick this up at your local store. It's only $225. It's all it retails for. Easy to get. <laughs> Dan Sherman, I'm telling you, you should be hanging out here on a Monday night. Really is quite interesting. So does anybody have any good St. Patrick's Day stories for us? Come on, been waiting. I didn't do anything. I hung out, you know, I don't know. I listened to the band from the local bar all the way to my house, because I guess things travel on water, but it's pretty cool. Ooh. That is strong. But you know what? Thank God for the booze bandage because I know a lot of you guys got your booze bandage with your 20% leprechaun last week, and you still can get it right now. So make sure you get your boost bandage if you need it for this week. Lila, hey, hey, girl, what's up? What's up? I went to bed at 8 o'clock. You know, I was thinking about it today. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Do you think that because it was so beautiful in Florida, people kind of didn't really do the whole St. Patrick's Day indoor bar thing. I mean, when I lived up in New York, it was our thing because, I mean, crap, it snowed in Buffalo today. It snowed in Buffalo. So, I don't know. People went to bed around here early, so. <sighs> I just don't know. Anyways, you guys, that's it for today. And I want to thank so much Pete from our one of our local distributors. I don't want to say a name just in case, uh, whatever, but thank you so much. Pete, how's the coconut rum chata? We didn't get coconut rum chata today, Lila. We got the bush whacker right here. It's amazing, amazing coconut cream rum. Absolutely amazing. So we'll be reviewing lots of other stuff. You guys, thank you again for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I want to say a very happy birthday to my cousin AJ, who's celebrating tonight at uh, some golf simulator up in Buffalo. And, oh, what do we got here? You said yesterday, and I agree. Seems like better turn out when it falls. Yeah, I think St. Patrick's Day needs to always be during the week. Nobody cares. They had to waste the weekend. Night, love. Bye, Lisa. Thank you for joining us. But, yeah, I think it should always be during the week. Anyways, happy birthday to my cousin AJ, and a pre-happy birthday to our top producer, Jim Burgos, behind the camera. Oh, he's getting mad. Sorry, guys. This week, happy early birthday to Jim. And, of course, a big thank you to our sponsors, Exchange of America, Inkhead Graphics, KG Pro Renovations, the Booze Bandage, of course, the Gin Mill in beautiful Fort Pierce, Florida, and Bowie's and Stogie's in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Thank you guys, guys for tuning in. Check out the Old Forester 1924 and, of course, the Bushwhacker Coconut Rum Cream, you guys. Thank you and good night.